गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ओपिंग यूर ऑल सेफ एट होम सो टूडे वी शैल स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टर्म सिलेबस द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड मेजरमेंट्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद दिस टॉपिक लेट मी गिव यू सम जर्नल एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक इफ आई वुड से दैट माई वेट इज my weight is 100 kg it is 9 o'clock this is 8 meter no so oh, just see that these are the measurements which we do in our daily life now just see that what is 100 kg here 100 kg 9 o'clock and 8 meter long i think everybody knows that in this case i am telling about my mass and 9 o'clock it means this is Time only, eight meter long. It means that I'm talking about the length of something. So students, just see that mass, time, and length. These are the physical quantities, and now the question is, what are the physical quantity is? first of all what is physical quantity physical quantities anything which we can measure so here we can say that anything which we can measure that is known as physical quantities here i am going to write anything which we can measures that is known as physical quantities now the physical quantities are two things or parts physical quantities as two things or parts one is the first part of it is size weak magnitude the second is si units so students in order to understand this let us take uh, one example like mass of sugar that is 20 kg now here what is 20 20 is the numerical value or in other word you can say that this is the size or bleak magnitude and kg is the si units so whenever we are talking about the physical quantities we are talking about its size or magnitude along with its si units so student this is what physical quantities are so like temperature temperature velocity speed distance these are all called the physical quantities so i hope that you have understood what is physical quantity is now we shall start with the next topic that is the measurement of volume
मेजरमेंट ऑफ वॉल्यूम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज वॉल्यूम इज द अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस कंटेन इन अ बॉडी इज नॉन एज वॉल्यूम आई एम रिपीटिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस कंटेन इन अ बॉडी इज नॉन एज वॉल्यूम और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन डिफाइन एट इट लाइक वॉल्यूम इज क्वांटिटी ऑफ थ्री डी स्पेस वॉल्यूम इज क्वांटिटी ऑफ थ्री डी स्पेस एंड क्लोज By a closed surface. For example, the space that a substance like solid liquid or gas occupies that is known as volume student you must be thinking about this 3d so what is 3d here 3d means three dimensional Three dimensional space. So, before I explain to you the three dimensional space, let me repeat the definition of the volume once more time. The amount of space contained in a volume. This is the very simple definition of the volume. Now, the another definition of the volume is. वॉल्यूम इज क्वांटिटी ऑफ थ्री डी स्पेस एंड क्लोज बाय अ क्लोज सरफेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल द स्पेस दैट अंस लाइक सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैस ऑक्यूपाइज नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट थ्री डी डायमेंशनल सो वी विल try to understand what is 3d space so in order to understand this let here this is the road let this is a road and let let the word is flying in the air and on the road one electric pole is fixed so students this is your electric Pole. The pole and its shadow are at ninety degree. The pole and its shadow are ninety degree to each other. So this is the shadow of the pole. shadow of the pole 
Now let the pole is at position O and the word is 2 meter away from the pole and 3 meter away along the pole and the shadow is 1 meter along the pole. Now just see that once again the word is 2 meter away from the pole and 3 meter away along the pole and 1 meter and the shadow is 1 meter away from the pole means from the O. Now let the road is taken as x axis and the pole is taken as y axis and the shadow is taken as z axis. Now here we can find the position of the verbs. Let it is 2, 3, 1 unit. So we can say that we can find the position of any point in the space by taking these three axes x axis, y axis and z axis. So like this we can find the position of the any point in the space by applying three coordinates. So students we have finished with this. So I hope that you must have understood what is 3D space is. Now I am moving to the next topic. Now let That this is a brick. This is the length of the brick. This is the width of the brick. And this is the height of the brick. So from here. Now it is three dimension x axis, y axis and z axis. So in order to find the volume of the brick, we can take length into breadth into height. 
As we know that the SI unit of length, breadth and height is meter. Let it is 1 meter. Let it is 1 meter. Let it is 1 meter. So the meter cube is the volume of the brick. So like this we can find the volume of any objects, given objects. Thank you.